Each week, we take a moment, sit down, and talk about things going on at the road in what we call the Road Detour. Hey, uh, thanks for joining us at the Road Detour. We're going to talk a little Christmas with Courtney. Hey, Courtney. Hi, Rick. And Natalie. Hello. And everybody knows Mr. Vic. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, and uh, so lots going on, so we're going to do a little Christmas. Let's start with our favorite Christmas carol. Who's first? And it doesn't matter. Nat? Mm, away in a Manger. Away in a Manger. That's good, because your baby's going to sing that in a couple mm-hmm. weeks. So. <laughs> I'm going to go with O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. Oh, we had to get all complicated, didn't we? Well, is that, that is fitting. Is that, no. that is fitting for my personality, isn't it? So, <laughs> so you're going to think bad of me because I'm going secular. I'll be home for Christmas. Okay, that's a good song. That's a solid choice. That's a good song. So, so my favorite spiritual one is Silent Night. My favorite secular one, um, wow. When, um, man, I don't know. There's some good secular ones out there. You stumped yourself. I did. Okay. I was thinking, oh, uh, Winter Wonderland. Uh, we can build a snowman. Yeah. We'll pretend that he is. I didn't Carson know we Brown. got to pick a secular hey, one. Christmas. Uh, you Harold didn't give. There's a lot of grace here. There's a lot of grace here. We don't pretend. We're I'm just, not familiar with that song, it. Rick. Could you sing it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't. No. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. So how, how, okay, so one of my favorite childhood memories, and I've, I've got a couple of decades, Vic and I are in the same category, but we're a lot older than you guys. A <laughs> couple of decades. A couple of decades on you guys. There we go. Oh, uh, there we go. Um, Rudolph was a big deal. The old claymation. The claymation. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was talking to, I actually was talking to Amanda yesterday, the sound of Burl Lives' as snowman in the yes. snow. Yes. When, when he would walk, snowmen don't walk, but it would be <laughs> And just that being out of school mm-hmm. and Rudolph coming on was a big deal hmm. to me. What's your favorite Christmas? Let's let's keep it in the category of children's shows. I, it's got to be How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Well, oh, that is good. I and you know that's a really good story. If you just stop and read it, great story. And my kids. Mm-hmm. Usually don't like it when I get his to heart the, grew and grew and grew. The part and grew. about the it came without packages, boxes, or bags because <laughs> I usually get tired of the packages, boxes, and bags by that time. That's funny. How about it, Natalie? Just pro- I, I probably like Elf the best. Mm-hmm. I don't, it's mm-hmm. not necessarily a children's show. More recently, more of a children's show. The Christmas Chronicles are pretty good. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. they are good. Yeah. Well, I. I Elf is a favorite of mine. I just think it's hilarious. Yeah. Uh, but if you go back to my childhood, it'd, it'd be uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and then Frosty the Snowman. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Kind of the same time frame when I was growing up to watch those on our Charlie Brown? TV. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Charlie Brown, where they actually read the Christmas story. That's, that, you know, that's yeah. never going to happen again. Yeah. When was the last time they played that on TV? Because they, I mean, I can still remember as a child, though, they would play that on TV often right after Thanksgiving, usually, or on Thanksgiving. Do you guys remember ever seeing a show called Mr. Kruger's Christmas with Jimmy Stewart? No. Don't think I did. The Mormons put it out. It's fabulous. It was really, really? good. And uh, he it was like a 30-minute show, and it was a an old single widower that he played the part of, and it, mm. it was really good. Really good. So you, what's your favorite serious Christmas movie, or a, a not, not a children's thing, but just a, a good Christmas movie? We like White Christmas a lot. You like the music? the music? Yeah, yeah. the music's really good. Yeah. It is. Yeah. yeah. I mean, what so a wonderful know life. George Clooney's mom's in that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Uh, Marianne? Marianne. Is it something Mary? Marianne Clooney, isn't it? Th- or Mary Jane Clooney? Oh. It's something. Somebody out there tell us. Yeah. Yeah. Rosemary, Rosemary Clooney. Mary. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Here yeah. we go. Yeah. Rosemary Clooney. Old people brain. <laughs> yeah. What a wonderful life. What a wonderful life is fabulous. Yeah. I don't know how you beat that, really. That's a but, hard. Yeah. 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 Her yeah, top. Natalie, favorite serious one. Oh, you Wait, did it. You, yeah, yeah. yeah. You? I, I, I can't get off. Of it's a Wonderful Life, hardly, yeah. and go anywhere else with that. So. What was the angel's name? Clarence. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's right. So there is a there's a good movie. I got to think of the name of it. We we try to watch a lot of Christmas movies. Uh, we watch Family Man, and then we watched. Uh, it's about a Cuban family, and. The father has cancer in it. It's a really good show. And now I cannot think of the name of it. Once again, all of you out there in Facebook land, uh, 
don't have my phone or anything to look that stuff up with. Oh. Well, it that sounds sad, whatever it is. Really it's good. Sad. It's <laughs> really good. It's a really good movie. So the reason we're talking Christmas, let's do one more. What's your okay. favorite Christmas food? Oh, let me back that up. Let me break that down. Candy, because there's specific Christmas candy, oh, right? Done. done. <clears throat> what do you got? Ooh. Oh, you already know? Yeah, I already what know. What is it? It's the toffee that we make. It's saltine crackers with butter and sugar and then dark chocolate yeah. chips the with top. the pecans. Yeah. It's the fake Heath bar. It is. Yeah, and it is good. But it's really it's good. It's really good. Yeah. I'm going to answer it before Victor can. Don't it's Sherry, Sherry Woods uh, <laughs> cinnamon candy. Is For sure. very good. It is good. Very good. Yeah, it it is. It has to be my favorite because it lasts a long time. You yeah. can keep it a long time, yeah. and uh, she enjoys getting to make it for people too. It's a I, it's a blessing for her to get to do it. I tried to make it last year, and if you've ever made cinnamon candy, like it will smell up your whole house. Whenever you are pouring it into the pan, it wafts in your face, and you sneeze about a hundred times. <laughs> you sure do, and it's something. It's huh. A labor of love. You know, growing up, my dad loved chocolate covered cherries. And they're they're not that great at candy, but he loved them. Had a, would have a box of them, and it was Christmas. It wasn't any other time of year. Just that Christmas. Time. Yeah. Chocolate covered cherries, and then uh, you remember the ribbon candy. You're oh, old yeah. enough to remember yeah. ribbon candy. No hard hard it, candy. I that, remember it. It was not my favorite. No, but not I by a long it. shot. Yeah. Um, did you ever get when you were a kid those uh, aluminum foil covered chocolate solid balls? Oh yeah, and bells. You had to peel, peel them. Yeah. Yeah. Kind yeah. of like a Hershey's the, these young people are there like, I don't know no, what he's talking about. No, I do about. know what you're talking about, but the peel never really came off all the way easy. So no, usually you no. just ate it with part of the and aluminum foil on there. And then it would get in and touch your there. tooth and it yes. fell off funny. Okay. Yeah. No, I'm with you. I'm with a you. big candy yeah. where I was back home was uh, people making divinity. Yep. And if you know what yes. that is, that white candy. It's hard candy. to make too. It's really hard to make. That so. fluffy. Yeah, I'm a fruitcake fan too. And that was a Christmas thing for us. Get ready, get ready to get some fruitcake. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so hey, take here. a second. We don't do this on the detour a lot. Drop a comment in about your favorite Christmas food, Christmas sure. candy, yeah. Christmas movie, Christmas show. Uh, it's kind of getting the, the spirit of things because we're moving toward uh, really a month-long celebration here yeah. at the church mm -hmm. of, of Christmas, the birth of Jesus. And uh, going to kick it off on the 10th. Tell us what's happening on the 10th. We have Christmas at the Road, and we are kind of unofficially terming it our greatest hits. Um, so there may be, if you've been here for a long time, there may be a couple of songs that you've heard before, but uh, hopefully this will be, there will be something for everybody. I'd like, I'd like to think that there will be something, regardless of who you are or how old you are, that you will really enjoy. So we're changing services up. We're going to have communion on the 6th and on the 17th. Mm -hmm. And then the, the music, our Christmas at the Roads, what we call it, will be on the 10th and the 13th. 13th. So All our service is yeah, live. Every service will be live. If you love it on Sunday, bring your friends back on Wednesday. Let's pack the place out. Invite people. It's a great first trip to church. And uh, uh, we have some special stuff that's been written that's going to be a part of it this year. And Original content. Here's yeah. the big question, though. Is it going to snow this year in the sanctuary? You have to come to find out. I'm looking at Jason. Do people want it to snow? I mean, I think it's a big hit. <laughs> I don't know year. if I'm supposed to say or not. I'm just going to smile really big <laughs> and let you, we'll, we'll, we'll let just you let assume. It, let it in the, leave it in the air, but yeah, hey. Yeah. Leave it in the it's air. You don't there you go, miss. Nat. You just leave could, it in the air. It could snow. <laughs> we, uh, we're going to have Christmas Eve, normal worship services, but the content of the services will be our Christmas Eve service four times on Sunday morning with a real candlelight service yeah. in each service. People have been asking us, are we still going to do the candlelight? Yes. Uh, we don't have any windows in our auditorium. It comes in handy on days like that. <laughs> and so we'll have candles and music and, and just a, a great celebration of Christmas Eve. You know, something you might consider is that, you know, our middle two services are always the biggest any Sunday, but... You know, the early service allows you to come to church, get that, have that experience with us, and then go on with the rest of your day. So shifting to the early service kind of helps you, might might help us as, as we go through that day. So something to consider. Yeah. Well, we hope that you'll make worshiping uh, with us or somebody part of your Christmas plan. And uh, it's always a good time to reflect. Always remember, uh, somebody lost somebody on Christmas, mm -hmm. somebody struggling this Christmas. Uh, take the time to be patient with people. 
uh, mm-hmm. to love those people who might be struggling through this season and uh, always be mindful of Jesus uh, as we celebrate his birthday. Anything else, guys? No. Nothing here, here. Holidays. Nothing oh. like the holidays. Jason's the man on the spot. Yeah. Hey, that's a movie worth sitting down with your family and watching. It's <laughs> really, really a good movie. Uh, hey, thanks for taking time to join us on the Road Detour. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.